Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be wrapping up our budget build series on the blue green Simic Flash uh, deck. Um, so, this is the final in our build series. This is the fully budget maxed out version. Um, so, here uh, so how the series works is basically we start off with a deck that's all commons and uncommons minus the dual lands. So we did a blue-green flash deck. From there we went to a mid-budget deck which had about 10 rares that actually turned out to be pretty much the entirety of the uh, Simic flash deck. Uh, so you got your night pack ambushers in there and some of your sideboard cards. Uh, so now we're playing a variant uh, that's somewhat evolving from the flash decks. It's a Sultai flash deck. So we're adding in black to Simic. Um, what this gives us is more hard removal. So one of the sticking points with the Simic deck is if your opponent's able to get under your counter spells with either like aggressive one drops or just multiple creatures, um, you have a hard time to interact. Um, our creatures on the face level aren't that big, so chump blocking is not really an option. So black is us some removal options, which are pretty nice. Um, so the core of the deck is still intended to play everything at instant speed on your opponent's turn. Um, so what we have is uh, still the same creatures in the form of Spectral Sailor, Brineborn Cutthroat, uh, Frilled Mystic, and the Nightpack Ambusher. What we're changing is we're adding in two Dire Fleet Poisoners. Um, so this is a flash can you be used as either like an Anthem effect for our Pirates, which Brineborn and Spectral Sailor both are. But really, it's a flash 2-2 Death Touch that can trade profitably in combat. Um, this also gives us 10 Pirates that Lookout's Dispersal starts becoming a improved mana leak, so two mana they have to pay for. Um, so we switched that instead of the Merfolk Trickster. Uh, we've gone more Syncopates in place of the Sabotage, uh, just to kind of round out the counter suite. The Negates are in the sideboard now, we still have the Essence Scatter. And then we have a removal package of Cast Down, Tyrant Scorn, which can bounce our own creatures if need be, and Assassin's Trophy as catch-all removal. Uh, the mana base is basically throw together all the duels that you have um, and one basic in case there's like a Field of Ruin or opponent's Assassin's Trophy going around. Uh, the sideboard itself, we get Negates, another cast down, Noxious Grasp. Uh, so where we're using Aether Gust prior, now we have a way to get rid of Shifting Ceratops or other uh, Gruul-based creatures. And this also gains us some life. We have another catch-all, removal, and assassin's trophy. I'm trying out one unmoored ego. Uh, this is mainly for the Nexus matchup where our deck wins through combat, so we want to be able to get rid of the Nexus if possible. Uh, Ritual of Soot, I've also noticed white weenie strategies or vampires have been quite difficult with this deck. Um, they hit hard and they go wide, so Ritual of Soot's kind of a cleanup. Uh, Massacre Girl could be another option here. Uh, and then our boy shifting ceratops so we'll run it through a couple competitive matches uh, best of three and best of one see how it plays out and then afterwards you can catch my full write-up on the arena subreddit um, but yeah we'll get going i really like this archetype uh, so we'll get started as we wait for our opponent Quick favor to ask if you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's a free and easy way to support the channel. Uh, it goes a long way to helping me continue to build out these deck series and producing videos in a more frequent manner. Um, so it'd be greatly appreciated if you could. Let's get started. I'm really interested to see how this black splash works. Uh, we'll keep this. So I'm a little... The one negative with this is um, your mana base becomes a lot more painful. So this looks like it's Feather for the most part. Tokatli Honor Guard, that's fine. So we usually want more blue. Uh, we don't need to kill this just yet. This could be an Angel's List, actually. Nope. Just 10th Street. Let's 
see if they have any effects. Uh, let's just Tyrant Scorn this. See if they have God's Willing. Okay, so they hit us for two here. Okay, so they do have the Enter the Battlefield Clause there with Frilled Mystic, so we're going to want to kill that so we can use Frilled Mystic the following turn. See if they have a Feather here. See if they use any spells, we can respond, make them burn them here. So we're doing this in response. They've blown a couple spells here. So it'd be good if they don't have a creature, so then we can catch it with the Furled Mystic. So they're somewhat digging, likely for God's Willing, or the one that gives it indestructible. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it targets, so. So we could catch him on a creature. Uh, so we're going to have to do this now, because once it comes in, it gets to, to turn off the Enter the Battlefield effect. This also lets us start attacking in. So we'll just pass the turn here. Ah, that's a great draw. So this allows us to ambush her and have a removal spell. Waiting on the opponent here. This matchup felt a lot better with the black removal. So comfortable shocking in here. So it's worth noting we've done four damage to ourselves this game. So we'll see how that works in the more aggressive matchups. Okay. I'll just destroy this now before they can... I don't want them to draw a card with one of the XL effects. Uh, God's willing. I think we do this. Yeah. That pretty much puts them out. You just want to cut them off. Like, if you can't cut off their creatures, their spells become a lot worse. Um, in this matchup, Ritual Soot's probably good as a catch-up. Uh, another cast down. Uh, Noxious Grasp we can use as well. So, like, get rid of the counters. Just bring in more removal. Bring in the Grasps. Bring in the trophy. Um, do we want anything else? Just bring in a ceratops. Do it like that. So effectively two mana, because they'll probably bring in like Gideons or stuff post-board. 
Nothing we want to ego. Ceratops doesn't really do too much. And then just have like a, a good removal suite. That's a solid first showing for the deck. Um, probably good to keep this. Scry on one feels so good. And like I said, scry on one feels so good. Um, I don't think I mind the Mystic there. It's a little worse for like Takatli, but... So here... They could have a protection spell. Which makes it worse. We can guarantee the kill. So I'm just going to do this now. We're using cast down here because in case they have feather to the next turn, feather is legendary. Okay, so Adanto is a lot worse for us. Okay. So I'm probably just going to go Brineborn this turn, to be honest, and then not block. We'll see what they do in terms of pumping it. If they do a lot, then I'll just bounce it to their hand with Tyrant Scorn. Krenko. Just counter it. Play draw in this matchup, I feel, goes a long way. Really hope we hit a land so we can play two spells next turn. Come on, opponent. Your card's getting countered. <sighs> Server's been a bit slow recently. Come on. Okay. Can we have our turn, please? Awesome, that's great. We want to eventually grow this to the point where see if they use any pump spells here. So I don't want them to get the card draw. So we'll just return this to our opponent's hand. I don't think we want any more lands. Just end the turn. So we could poison her to try to catch them. Let's see if they get greedy with the attack.
they want to play a bunch of spells on Takatli, we can Noxtrix Grasp it as well. Got him. Solid there. We rank up. Run it back for another best of three. So there's also a uh, Bant list I saw going around that plays to fairies, um, and then like settle the wreckage. So it's more of a Bant control list. You play some absorbs. That's another interesting one to look at. All right, Brian Born into Brian Born into Brian Born. <laughs> also leading on tomb might screw up our opponent's play patterns. This is more of the aggressive start, so it'll be interesting to see how the deck plays out where we're the creature attacking one. Being on the play is good here. This could be the mirror. Yeah, Spectral Sailor. So this is the Simic Flash deck. So this is where it becomes an interesting game where you force them to tap out on their turn, which allows you to be... Oh, this is mono blue. Oh, in that case, you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, and they missed the line drop, which is great. I'll throw out a Brineborn here. Syncopate's also nice. We'll end the turn here, so we could either counter something. Or, okay, so they scry to the top. We can also throw down another Brineborn. Let's see if they, okay, so they don't Wizards Retort. Uh, Trickster. That's fine. Um, I'm going to opt to skip the attack here. We have we can get them beyond the the trickster size next turn. Then we have the blocker anyways for Curious Obsession. Just shock here, makes Syncopate more useful, and then also lets us either double spell or an iPad. Choose a color. They choose blue. I think we can let that go. That also takes them off Wizard's Lightning, or, or Wizard's uh, Retort, so they can't counter the Ambusher. This ends up just being a big dumb creature that can be eaten. All right. The wolves are here. I don't know what's up right now. If it's just, if it's a client, if it's our opponent. I know the other day when I was trying to record it kept crashing, but just play that tapped. So here they might opt to Okay, so they dive down, you put a counter on it. So 
So, might have been a little loose. So they do get to kill our ambusher here. But our Brineborns will get pretty big. Um, here we can X3. The Jin ends up getting pretty big. This does have Vigilance, so it can block Brineborn. Um, okay, so it does give Death Touch. I think we still start pressuring in. They take that, and then we'll just end the turn here. It's fine. Interesting if Mono Blue opts to go with these Diamond Knights. I'm just going to take the damage here. Gives us three bodies. Got him. All right, so weird mono blue variant. Um, bring in a cast down. Ceratops seem really good. Maybe a ritual just to catch up if we fall behind. Uh, probably. Don't want the counters on the play. Do I want just another Assassin's Trophy? Probably not. They have the dive down. Just play like this. Syncope could catch either creatures or planeswalkers early. You know what, maybe let's just do Lookout's Dispersal. Run it like that. See what the opponent brings out. The Knights might be a concession to shifting Ceratops in the matchup. Uh, it's colorless, so it can block. Come on, opponent. Opponent, what's taking so long? This opponent has been terrible to play against. Like you're playing first, just play first. <laughs>
This is ridiculous. Come on, opponent. Alright, so, opponent timed out. Not sure what happened on their end. We will take the win. It's amazing what playing good decks does for your rank. Uh, let's play a best of one to wrap this up. It's actually been a pretty good list. I've been playing a band, like, pod Vanifar deck. It's been really fun. Uh, Spark doubling Oketra or Lyra is really funny. Play a Llanowar Elf, get like two zombies, and then you uh, has a Neoform in it as well. I can post that list. I'm going to try to do a video on that after the event. Um, so this is the more counter everything they do, but are weak if they get under us let's try and that's the worst matchup yeah this hand's gonna lose we needed a turn to be able to cancel counter their one drop but now they can play a two drop as well before we can even set up Okay, so there might be a chance. Let's see how it goes. So they'll attack in. Okay, let that resolve. They'll probably lightning strike us here. We want to counter like reoccurring threats. Really need a creature here. Even our removal is pretty bad. They just ramp some more. Um, just syncopate for one. All right, let's see what we can do. We actually wouldn't have been too bad in a spot if they didn't have the one drop. Uh, here, let's just sabotage. Don't want the lions. Okay, so we got Brineborn. Um, Brineborn does make Luxa dispersal cheaper, so we're fine to have that tapped. This looks like mono red goblins, perhaps. Could be why their hand's a bit slower. So the counter everything plan is somewhat working. Okay, so let's do this. They won't have enough mana. Let's 
fine. Gets a card out of their hand. So we're getting to the point where these syncopates start losing and like lookout dispersals are at seven lands, so they like their spells are cheap. So the reason we're playing lines out is because it'll at least make syncopate a little bit more useful. Jeez. I might opt to just Assassin's Trophy this if they don't play anything else at end step. Lava Runner. Mm. Okay, let that resolve. This might entice them to play something else if they think we ran out of counter spells. Jeez. This is the part where, like, I was explaining earlier, if they get under, but, like, we've drawn none of our actual removal. Okay, so... I'm just going to use Frilled Mystic as a blocker here. This lets us counter. This is my favorite way to play. It just keeps telling your opponent no. And then eventually beat down on them. Just gonna pass here. I will say the opponent has also drawn ten lines minus the the trophy. Um I want a better creature. Spectral Sailor draws us cards. Ambusher, like, actually does stuff. Oh, they're just going face. That's fine. So, we have to syncopate for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the point where I was mentioning that, like these spells do get worse over time. So they have the win. Okay, so Spectral Sailor is good. No attacks here. Spectral Sailor will probably get shot by the Firebrand. Definitely need to counter that. I'm probably not going to drop the Sailor here, only because they can kill it without us being able to draw cards in response. Okay, so we got second Sailor here. I'll just pass the turn. Somehow managed to survive. Let's see what we get.
just play the ambusher. Block there. And now we can just keep refilling our hand. Because we get the wolf, I can attack with both of these. This deck must be discouraging to play from the opponent's side. Especially now where we can just keep refilling our hands. Tyrant Scorn's great. Assassin's Trophy can get rid of a Frenzy if need be. Uh, let's see if we draw a counter. I can do one more. Okay, so we don't... So we do need to do this now. So they do have a window here. Okay, so if they had like a shock or something on top, they could have cast it in response. And we got him. So that's pretty much the deck. Let me know what you think. I'll be doing the write-up now uh, for the Arena subreddit. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you can, make sure to hit that subscribe. Have a great one.